Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. New video about the diecast review. This time is the Lamborghini Countach LP800-4. I say that in Italian because sometimes it's so funny to people from abroad who know so much about model they call them. You see the name is that. So in Italiano, if you want to call it, it is Lamborghini, not Lamborghini. Countach. Countach is a strange name, come from the Piemonte dialect. That means like, holy shit, Countach. So it's no contact and so all the bullshit they said around. LPI 800 slash 4. In Italiano. LP 800 barra 4. Punto. Quindi, again, remember. Lamborghini Countach LP 800 barra 4. That's the real name of the model. Let's say, you know, car is fantastic and uh, Murago is really hitting... Uh, very very hard the world of collectors because uh, with this simple production uh, this is the ordinary production of the boxes of with all the licensed pay by the way because you see that with bmax and so on we had a lot of issues about the royalties eh, because of royalty we cannot make the money blame the royalty both shits you know when you want to make the model you made the model and burago does absolutely they do so this is the new version of the lamborghini countach uh, the ordinary contacts that we all like and you know it was i think the dream of all the kids in my age and uh, this is the the cheapest model you know that you can find around the 124 scale i love this model for the scale and because they give you the opportunity just to collect them as they are you know so there is no willing of being uh, collectible items and so on these are toys produced by boragon very glad that they do this because it's so easy to to collect and to have them in the in, in your collection so the car is absolutely well done i think is made because of the royalty surely paying the royalty they have some help from audi company that provide the real 3d of the car at least for the external part so for them it's quite easy to produce a 3d master to make some thousands of copy for the die cast body you know and uh, as usual in this uh, cheap model from china burago is no longer an italian company for your info burago the place Burago is a small village on the eastern side of uh, Milano so it is on the east side of uh, the, the suburb of Milano it was a very very cute uh, village you know named Burago Molgora it's a place uh, in the middle of nothing you know a kind of I don't know what to say for Americans as well really you know, the middle of the nothing village you know something like that and uh, the company way became famous for this double B B B B Burago B Burago whatever and uh, today is no longer Italian company. It is a company that made a bankruptcy, I think, nearly 20 years ago, and never been overtaken by Chinese. And the Chinese, of course, are very, very skilled in this stuff. It's their world, you know. They are the best in making this kind of object since always, you know. You know that when you pay so few for a model, you cannot expect the highest level of detail that you can have in uh, Aoshima production, Tamiya production, BMAX, all the other guys, you know, making them. But... Uh, it's absolutely worth it. I think I paid this brand new model, you know, and Murago is currently working very, very hard to collect all the new items. If you have a look to their website, they are producing all the newest Ferrari, all the newest Ferrari, all the newest Lamborghini, all the newest Maserati. They already announced all of them. So long before, I, I mean, I mean, guys, I'm so sorry to say this, but i just seen this is uh, the time when, when i'm making the record of this video is uh, february 2023 i don't know where i will make it public on my channel but sooner or later you will see this video but the newest announced by tamia tamia is my favorite who knows me you know that i have a special a special a special i have something for tamia you know and uh, tamia announced as a brand new the gordon murray supercar gordon murray supercar Jesus Christ, I really, he's hopeless, you know, he's hopeless, I mean, standing model like the Senna, pero, but, pero, who in hell, like, knows the Gordon Murray supercar, we told, I mean, pay little royalty like this Chinese company do, and do something like this in one of your kit, I mean, you know, something that make people dream, the GT, I, I mean, I love cars, you know, me, I, it's my life, the cars, you know, but, company i'm not the owner of tamia otherwise uh, we'd be different you know? <laughs> i maybe we will neither be so skilled like that but whatever oh that is very very nice indeed and uh, have some openings i i didn't cut away the 
plastics here and uh, uh, also the front end here in my model had some problems so probably had uh, a line uh, a channel where to buy this model they were extremely cheap as i always find them the cheapest plus postage you know to me uh, but sometimes i guess it is a kind of secondary choice a secondary selection for model because my one had a lot of uh, uh, spots on the white paint you know it was quite easy to fix i usually take that enamel thinner can it is very very uh, is a light thinner you know white petroleum and it's very very easy to take away because it was really the remaining of some gloves working you know you really see the print of uh, the fingers all over the model so probably when they choose uh, the, the model uh, it was a kind of second selection i hope for them you know uh, details like uh, cap filler is uh, not uh, molder is just printed over so you basically pay here the shape of uh, the lamborghini 800 you know you don't pay a real model just a toy of it but it's absolutely worth it consider that right now this model i don't know if they already made some plastic model kit maybe aoshima made it but i'm not so sure you know but the range of price is completely different it's different items you know because if you finish one of that model with a decent modeling skill they became incredibly nicer than this stuff but these have anyway the proportions that are respected you see at once the object you can have an idea on what it is you know and i personally very rarely build up uh, street cars you know for the first lamborghini countach the blue one i made it i love it the color i wanted the special version of the blue countach you've seen in the videos of my library you know but uh, for this model i really don't know if i would like to buy the ordinary street car i personally love racers so i don't like the the the, the, the street cars uh, the model is absolutely worth it so no, no, nothing more to say you just have to collect them and uh, follow what Burago is going to produce about these very very interesting uh, cars and also the wheels are well done you see also the rings so there is the there is also the caliper inside absolutely if the camera get it you see the caliper and discs so they are absolutely well done painting is slightly precise you see there is some point where it is not so precise but uh, as i always used to say you cannot have any kind of complaint around models that cost like one beer in milano so the engine bay is probably openable i don't know maybe we can break it direct live in the video looks stuck by the way yeah looks stuck so i i have no idea if that opens or not and i don't care so much i just wanted to have the curbside shape of the model here to see and admire so absolutely well done well done take it